Okay, so before I start talking about the challenge, which is what this video is about, I just wanted to say, um, I've got so much makeup on. Can you see all that makeup? But it's because I've just come back from a really exciting photo shoot that I was doing um, for a big newspaper and I had all my hair and makeup done. So it's a little bit of a treat. She did it so well. She's so good. And she even let me put on extra lip liner because I love my lip liner. Anyway. What's really important is tomorrow my new challenge starts and um, I've been working really, really hard on this because I wanted to give you something that is going to really super motivate you, that is going to inspire you, that is most importantly going to get you amazing results and also that you could do along with a family member, a friend, um, that you can encourage someone else to go and get fit because I've designed these workouts so it's really suitable for absolutely every single fitness level and it has been really hard work I am exhausted but I so think you're gonna enjoy it and I want to say a big thank you to my friend Michael who comes along and does all the filming so big thanks to him and um, and that's it you know that is the team the team is he is so good he will come and meet me on these locations, 6.30 in the morning, sometimes come out and do the filming. So, so say a big thank you to Michael because um, he's the one that stands there and holds the camera. And then there really is no other team, that is it. Then I just sit at home and just work till the, all the hours, just editing and just putting everything together. So, you know, it's there is no big media company behind this. There is no big production team. So. They're not going to be perfect, but as long as they are getting you fit, if they're getting you motivated, and if they're getting everyone in Lucy's squad healthy and learning to fall in love with fitness, then you know what? That's all that matters. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit rough around the edges. Um, so, tomorrow we're starting at 6.30, but remember these videos are up forevermore, so it doesn't matter if you're like away for three or four days, you can just start the challenge whenever you want, um, and literally just follow the video that I put up every day. Um, we are going to be doing a calorie burning, so it's a four minute, it's going to be called the calorie crusher, which is on one day, then the next day we are doing a toning workout, and we're going to be doing that just simply using a chair then we are obviously going to have a rest day that is really important on the rest day they will be kind of like little videos motivations questions um, etc so it's just going to be so easy to follow I've done all the work for you all you need to do is stay on my youtube channel at 6 30 go there and put on your trainers and do the workout as simple as that um, and what I would ask as a big big favor is if you can and if you do have Facebook or if you have Twitter it would be amazing if you could really help spread this challenge um, and then all you need to do is a like on the Facebook on not Facebook sorry on YouTube at the bottom of the video where it says share you can just click on the icon there's either like Pinterest um, Facebook Twitter um, if you like it you don't have to do that but if you do like it and you want to encourage other people to get fit and other people to join in this challenge then that would be amazing if you could do that um, and do keep me posted through social media throughout this uh, challenge how you're getting on um, if you like it you'll be I can't wait for you to see the first one tomorrow because there's an extra little twist that I've put in um, in all the videos for you and remember the whole thing with fitness and this is why I do these shorter workouts is it's about being sustainable it's kind of like there's no point you doing a really punishing workout that is going to make you just feel exhausted that you have to do for an hour because realistically you might be able to do it for two or three weeks but then you won't go back to doing it you know this it's got to be something that you can do for the rest of your life that you kind of enjoy that's a little bit fun that is just going to simply get results and remember the other thing if you're really going for wanting to perhaps lose excess body fats remember I'm really strict with all of the Lucy squad about being a healthy weight I'm not body shaming any body shape. What I want you all to aspire to is to love who you are, be healthy, and just 
must be within your healthy weight range and just accept who you are and feel confident, feel fit and feel fabulous. So, but to get that, we also need to focus on good nutrition. That is really, really important. Um, so I will be going through that. I will be put, putting up um, throughout posts on all my social media sites stuff on healthy eating. And you know what, again with that, it's like 80% of the time we're gonna be really good and eat clean, then 20% we can have a little bit of what we fancy because that's really important. And motivation, let's just go for not being really impatient and expecting results by tomorrow. Let's just focus on each week, just go for doing that full challenge that I set you. And then you see how you feel by the end of that week, and then by the end of the following week, and then by the end of the month, you're just gonna feel amazing. And if you want to, if you want to take some before and after photos, that'll be amazing. Just, you know, take a quick picture. And then what you can do for measurements, you know, I'm not a fan of weighing scales, like I would really love it if everyone just ran over them and smashed them, but I know some of you still like to use them. So if you are going to use them, you can step on them tomorrow, and then you're not allowed to go on them at all until exactly a month from that day, all right? But the best way I would say to you to measure your progress, because we are going to get results if you do the workouts, is grab a tape measure and just measure around the narrowest part of your waist. So find where your waist is really narrow, or you can always then, another way to do it is always measure from around where the belly button is, but just make sure you're always measuring at the same point. Then write down what that measurement is, so do that tomorrow. Then what you can do also is then measure around the widest part of your hips. Again, make sure you're gonna do that at the same point. So we can just go for like hip to waist um, measurements. You know, if you've got someone there, you could perhaps like, you know, if you're doing this challenge with a friend, with your mom, your sister, your dad, your brother, whoever you're doing it with, the cat, the dog, whatever, you could then perhaps get one of them just to like measure around your arm. You want to, again, focus on like more the narrowest part of the arm. Always remember if you've done left or right, and then you could do the same with the thigh. Will I show you my thigh? I have got a dress on. No, I don't think that would be appropriate. But anyway, just measure around the top part of the thigh. So that is it. We are ready to start countdown. So no excuse, the one thing I want you to promise me is that you really try and commit to this now throughout September. It is just a one month and the great thing is with fitness, the more you do it, the fitter you become, the easier it is. And remember then the more energy you have, this is completely free. These are short workouts, but they work because we're working multiple muscle groups. So there really is a no excuse, all right? So um, that's it. That is it, literally, in a nutshell. We are going, you and I are gonna get so super fit. It's just gonna be so exciting. But then the problem is, I've now done September, so what am I gonna do for October? Suggestions on a postcard, please.